Hey guys, how's it going here? Okay, I'm so glad all of you guys reached out to me, all 53 of you, in regards to my last post here about um, the free marketing strategy that I just learned about. Um, I'm going to try to keep this really quick here, but I also want to give you a little bit of a background because I know um, I'm going to try to keep this very generic, this video, but I know quite a few of you don't know me very well, so I kind of want to just give you a little bit of background so you know um, who I am, also um, why I'm so blown away that I didn't know about this. So obviously, hi, I'm Andrea Chalmers. I live in Lake Country, British Columbia. I am an online marketer. I have been for the past... Um, very successfully for the past three years. I've been in network marketing for the past five and a bit years. Um, mom of two and a cat that likes to help out. Um, so I'm going to try to talk quick. I talk quick. That's the way that I do it. <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys um, some cool free strategies here. And I trust that you guys are going to hold the utmost value on this. So um before I actually share that with you guys, so obviously, yes, I'm in network marketing. Yes, I am an online marketer. Yes, I um, uh, am part of a platform where we educate people how to be very successful online entrepreneurs and really leverage um, online strategies such as Facebook ads, um, different social media platforms, how to really brand yourself so that you're be able to promote more than just your network marketing, direct sales, whatever it is, if you're in real estate, right? You want to be very um, transparent online because there's so many different streams of ways to make money and the more transparent that you can be, obviously, the more money that you can make. You need to be open to creating um, multiple streams of income to be very profitable online and open to um, basically new things that are coming out daily. It's the internet. New things come out all the time. So, with that being said, about three years, was it three years ago? Yeah, when my daughter was first born, so two and a half years ago, I um, really got involved in drop shipping. And if you don't know what drop shipping is, it's basically taking products from suppliers um, and um, selling them on their behalf and then having the suppliers send out the products on your behalf for you. I actually created a Shopify store and became very successful uh, right away with it with my strategy. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know what it is or not. Um, I got a naked kid here too. Sorry, can you go get your blippy? The kid loves blippy if you know what blippy is. Sorry. Um, so I actually became very successful um, by learning one tiny little tidbit and I created um, uh, almost $15,000 in my first month through this tidbit and um, what my strategy actually was was I was taking products from China um, through a website called AliExpress and I was using the free plus shipping strategy so basically what that is is I bought a, got a products for like less than five dollars and was able to um, ship them out for uh, ten dollars plus if you live in Canada like I do we pay a lot for shipping like we can pay like 20 bucks for like this pen like we pay ridiculous amounts of money for shipping so to charge somebody like twelve dollars for shipping um, wasn't a lot of money, especially when I was paying $5 for the product and then $12 for shipping. I was making about $7 um, in my own pocket each time I sold something. So things change though, right? <laughs> it's not quite as easy to do that anymore. I kind of caught the tail end of that and um, as much as uh, I made a lot of money at it, I did not have a mentorship on how to do it. So I kind of took one little tidbit of information and ran with it. And what happened was because I had so many sales, um, there were some very key things that I did not know about that ended up being somewhat costly for me and pretty much crashed my business because I thought I could go and use YouTube to find out all these strategies and basically learn how to do it myself. Um, in some sense, yes, I did uh, create a successful business and Shopify actually recognized that as I hit the top 3% in North American sales in my first month and uh, they gave me rights to be a developer for life. So I do have the rights for that. But anyway, so I just wanted to backtrack on that a bit because a lot of people just think I'm in direct sales and online marketing and they think that's always to do with network marketing. But the thing is, my background definitely expands further past that I've been um, I build funnels, I build autoresponders, I build all sorts of stuff, I build websites, like I, I know the ins and outs of online 
and I'm very um, open to uh, spending money online to receive information because it's always valuable for my business. So with that being said, I'm going to start sharing to you guys because I know I've been rambling for five minutes now and you guys are like, just freaking tell me what it is already. So what is it something that all of us do all the time online? If you commented on my post, like what is it that we do? Like we all go on Facebook. Facebook's huge with social media in general. Now, what happens when we're scrolling, 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 we start looking around at other things. Like how many people here have posted something on Marketplace before? I'm a mom. Like I have toys. Do you see that? It's a tent. <laughs> I have toys in my house. As my kids grow out of them, I post them on to Marketplace. Now, that's probably what most of us do, right? Um, it's like the new modern day Craigslist or buy and sell, whatever. And it's super simple. All you do is take a picture, do a little description, post it and wait for somebody to buy. Who here has done that? I know you can't respond on this video here unless I end up posting it inside my Facebook page. But if you've done that before um, and I do end up using this video on my Facebook, then say yes, you have. And if you've made a sale, yes, you have. Awesome. Perfect. If you have, then you can definitely do this. So. Basically, what we're doing with marketplaces, we're not leveraging it for what it's really, really worth, right? Like we're using it as a way as uh, getting rid of stuff inside of our house and stuff. But like, what if we could do that so much more and be making money off of stuff that um, products that we don't even have, right? Pretty interesting, right? I'm going to show you guys some really simple strategies here, stuff that your mom can do, stuff that my mom can do, stuff that my child could pretty much do at this point even though she's two and a half years old and I want to show you guys this to prove to you just how effective this can really really be so what I'm going to show you here I'm going to go to my computer and let's just take a, a moment here and think of um, the psychology behind um, sorry I got the light right here the psychology behind somebody purchasing People purchase things not only just because they know, like, and trust you. They purchase things off of visualization. They purchase things off of the price point. They purchase things off of um, them seeing uh, the benefit of something, right? Now, inside of Marketplace, we have that ability to be able to post anything we really want, provided it's not anything to do with, like, network marketing or direct sales or anything like that. But we can pretty much post anything um, we want and um, and sell it without having um, to worry about taxes, having a store, having any like a business number. We don't need to have any of that kind of stuff. This is just something where you can straight up make some extra freaking money, like a lot of it if you if you know how to do it properly. So. I'm going to give a really basic um, analogy here, and this can be used anywhere. It's like stores like Walmart or Costco, but I want to go super, super basic and say you were inside a dollar store. Now, when you go inside of a dollar store, everything's just kind of like in a bin or whatever, just placed on a shelf, and everything's cheap, um, and a lot of people, for one, don't even go into dollar stores, but a lot of people don't see how things could actually look inside their home, especially like decor or something like that. Um, and they totally disregard it. Like think of if you go into Ikea, they have an entire um, floor of basically laid out how the, their stuff would look. If everything was just in a bin, nobody would really be able to really see that visualization because not everyone's an interior designer. Um, what it would actually look like inside of their home. And I'm just kind of giving an analogy on this. No, you don't need to be a home um, decorator or interior designer to do this. But say you saw, sorry, I'm just going to pull this up here. Oh, fuck around. What did I do? Okay. I'm just going to give an example of a three mirror set. You see these here. Now, there's a whole bunch of them here, but if you were to see these in a dollar store, you could easily take a picture of them, and if you want, even take it up a notch by actually putting a couple candles in them so they could see that they would look cool or whatever. And say each one of them, say it's $2, that's a dollar, that's a dollar fifty. so it's whatever, right? Four bucks, or, yeah, four bucks or whatever. Five bucks. I'm not a math person. Anyways, so you could easily just go and take a picture of that and go and post that onto a uh, marketplace and say that you were selling the set for 20 bucks. 
and say with the candles and everything, everything cost you about seven or eight dollars. Now, say somebody came and bought that, you made twelve dollars off of that candle set. Now, this is just one very, very basic example for somebody that really um, just wants to make a few extra bucks. It's a really, really simple way of doing it. You can easily go to Costco, you can go to Walmart, you could find like vacuums or whatever. Um, just take pictures of them. Don't buy the stuff. Take a picture of it. Post it for more money than it is. Um, if you're smart, you'll go and do a little bit of research and look and find out, um, see like if Best Buy is selling it for more because then you can easily take a screenshot of Best Buy and say Best Buy is selling for $200 where you purchased it at Costco for 100 bucks. Um, and that you're selling it for $150. So that person now is like, oh my God, I'm gonna save 50 bucks, plus I'm not paying the taxes on it. Like that's, I'm saving probably a good 70 bucks here, right? Easy, easy money. You can easily make a good, at least $50, $100 profit off of doing these kind of things. And I know some of you are like, that is totally unethical. And it, if you are in business to, for sales at all, you will know in the history of forever that arbitrage has been around. You go to a freaking corner store and you buy a chocolate bar, that person, the person who owns the corner store is making money off of you. You go to Walmart and you buy toothpaste, that they're making money off of you because they know a supplier that's selling it for less and they are marking the price up. Nobody sells anything anything to not make a profit if there's sales to be made that person wants to be making a profit if you are in sales and you have a problem with making money you have some serious inner work that you need to do um like psychology like limiting beliefs that if you think that this is unethical there is nowhere anywhere any store that is selling things just because they're kind and they want you to have it. Everybody's making money. Nobody does, puts in work and expecting nothing out of it. If you're gonna take the time to post something on Marketplace, it doesn't matter that uh, you went, um, you don't even have the product, but that you took the time to take a picture just to kind of display something, um, or even just be able to provide them with a better deal. Because if you're like my husband, my husband does not care about a good deal, and it fucking bugs the shit out of me. I came from a family where I like lived off of like the sale rack and I'm always looking for good deals, but there's a ton of people out there that aren't looking for good deals. They're looking for what they're looking for and they'll buy it and bless their hearts because like there's a ton of people making a ton of money off of them for that. So I want to show you that one, but I'm going to go and step it up a notch here and I'm going to show you one more thing here because now that I told you guys about my whole um drop shipping strategy here. I want to show you something because as soon as I heard about this whole marketplace thing, I was, the wheels kept turning and turning and turning. And I'm going to show you something here that I probably shouldn't because um, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's, well, it's not super crazy, but like, I want to show you guys this because I want to add as much value to this as possible and show you what's really possible. Um, so with my store that I had, it was called the Charlie store and where I actually purchased my products. If you've ever heard of, um, wish, which I'm sure you have day market all over Facebook, everything from wish is actually from a website called AliExpress and majority of the suppliers are actually from China and they basically are the manufacturers of all of these products. So what they do is they actually sell these products for dirt cheap. They don't market them in any way, shape or form. Really. They just throw some products out there, um, don't have any like fancy details on them, no marketing strategy really whatsoever. So they sell the stuff for super, super cheap. Um, and I'm gonna show you an example here. Uh, if you see this person right here, this guy's got like a balaclava and like a little neck warmer or whatever, $4.87. And then if you look down right here, you can actually see that this it's free shipping to Canada. Now, the estimated delivery time is 39 to 60 days, so that's the only really crappy thing about China is that these um, the shipping actually takes a long time. Now, if you're familiar with AliExpress at all, they usually will give you different options, and you can actually do an e-packet where your delivery is actually going to be tracked for $3.31, but let's just say 
um, for the sake of the way things used to be when ePacket was free, <laughs> um, that we're not going to be paying for any shipping. So it's just going to be $4.87. So say in this case, if you're going to be going on Marketplace, you'd probably want to go and purchase a few of these. And if you live where I live in Kelowna, it's cold. You wear toques, you wear um, beanies, whatever you want to call them. Um, because it's cold out. So this is super, a super smart thing to do. So smart that when I went on to Marketplace, somebody else has already been doing this. And they're selling these things for $10. And I'm not saying this is something similar. You see that? It says Song King whatever. Now let's go back to this. It is that exact same product. This person has gone on to AliExpress, and I'm assuming they probably purchased maybe 20, 30, whatever, 100 of them. Who knows how many of them they're selling, but they are making five bucks off of each one. Yeah, it's not a ton of money, but it can add up really quickly. And the reason I want to show you guys this is because inside this platform um, that I use, they have a program that they have put together, a training program, where they actually teach people the blueprint of all these successful products that you can post and it goes so far beyond local. Um, this is You can actually tap into a global uh, marketplace where you can post any of this kind of stuff. And this is huge. Like if you are thinking this is not that great, this is huge because when I had my store, um, the Charlie store, I had to pay for advertising for people to see my stuff. You have the ability to tap into basically any marketplace anywhere in the world and sell products and that you never have to touch, you never have to own, that can be sent out to these people, and you can basically automate it. Now, if that doesn't freaking blow your mind and give you freaking chills and, like, the dollar signs start coming up, this is huge. This is huge. And not only that, like, these people um, that we work with that have put this program together, they've been doing this for years. Like, this is a lot of trial and error because you can go and do this stuff. You can go to the dollar store. You can go to Walmart. You can go to Costco and try to... Um, sell these products and definitely make money doing that but like how time consuming is it to meet up with somebody to go or have them come to your house like not everybody wants to do that yes you can make money with this and I encourage you when you're done watching this video to go and do it take a picture of something and post it on marketplace and just see just see <laughs> like honestly pick something that you pretty confident that people around here would buy and see what kind of results you get um, now if you want to take it to the next level here, because I know you guys are sitting on here and wondering why the hell I'm talking about all of this stuff when all you want to learn is how to um, sell your stuff, your network marketing, direct selling stuff on here. Um, now, there is blueprints, there's strategies, there's copywriting, there's all sorts of stuff that entails that is entailed to actually stand out inside a marketplace. There's um, actual selling platforms that you can leverage as well to um, really create um, uh, massive leverage for your business. Now we all know you cannot post your network marketing company's uh, products on um, on marketplace. Uh, I know I've seen a few things like doTERRA and stuff where people are selling like their old oils or something and I know it's some sort of strategy that they're using um, but to be honest if Facebook ever catches you doing that they can seriously shut you down and with knowing the knowledge that I know now that's the last thing you freaking want to do is not be able to post things onto Marketplace. Now imagine being able to do this globally where you never touch anything. You don't have to ship anything out, you don't have to do any of that sort of stuff, you don't have to collect taxes or anything. Like, how beneficial would this be to your bottom line? Like, uh, how much extra money could you make a month doing this? Like, there, like you can. You can easily, even if you suck at this, make a good 50 bucks a day. At, at least. At least. Now, if you're interested in knowing more about this program, I highly recommend you guys get in contact with me because inside the platform that I use with the mentorship that I use, they have been able to get freaking amazing deal on this program. Like they are almost giving it away. It, it's insane. Um, normally all the training and stuff in the selling plat, uh, pro, uh, platforms that they have and all of the, the bonus stuff and the blueprints and all the products that they, um, that are proven and the suppliers to get them from, this is taking everything out of the equation of all the questioning. This um, program normally it goes for $15,000 and you can get it inside of our platform for uh, $1,997. 
And not only that, obviously we're online. We don't do nothing for nothing. If you um, like right affiliate marketing, you know people that want to get into the program as well because this can be w massively leveraged off of everybody. Like yes, you can go in, into a store and go and do this kind of stuff, but when you want to take it to the next level and go globally and really leverage marketplace, like this is massive, 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 massive. Anyways, you have somebody that wants to sign up for this program as well and learn how to do it with all the ins and outs. There is freaking endless strategies that these people have that you can leverage. I'm only giving you two very simple examples and these aren't even the good ones. These are just the like, holy crap, I can't believe I didn't know this. <laughs> um, you get $500 per each person that signs up for the program. So you have four people that you know that could massively use an additional few thousand dollars a month plus whatever, right? Like this is, this is scalable beyond belief. You, those people sign up, you get four people, your program's paid for. Easy as that. Like how many people do you know that could massively leverage this? How many people do you know that are working, uh, cleaning businesses, McDonald's, like working as servers, people that are working like three jobs a day and they're like hopefully bringing home 150, 200 bucks a day. Imagine how much this could change their lives if they knew that they could just post one thing and it go over and over and over and over and over again and they kept making money off of it. Like this is this is a no brainer. It's a no brainer to me. And again, like I said, some people are totally like it might uh, be a little hard on the on the brain with the whole um, creating it, making money off of products that are cheaper. But in all honesty, if you're in the business to sell anything, you need to get rid of that money mindset because we are in the business to make money. Everybody that sells something, everybody that's an entrepreneur needs to value the time they put in, the knowledge that they have. Like if you, you even just watching this video right now have just gained very valuable knowledge, very valuable knowledge. You can go and take this knowledge and go and charge somebody for it if you would like. Go ahead. I'm going to give it away for you guys for free because I know a ton of you are going to get back to me and want to know about this program and get involved in it because you are crazy. You are so crazy if you don't because if you are online and you've spent any money on ads or bringing in leads, you want to know exactly these blueprints to how to leverage this whole marketplace strategy for your network marketing business. You can be bringing in leads like crazy, crazy leads that are actually looking for what you have without ever posting your stuff. And like I said, there's strategies that you can even make money without selling anything. And holy shit, right, Ninja? It is crazy. I am so freaking pumped for everybody because I, my biggest objective with people that come in to the online space is they are so fearful of all of the technical side of stuff. And yes, a lot of it is pretty straightforward once you get going, but it is. It's very crazy. And this pretty much eliminates any objection anybody has. You don't need to have a website. You don't need to have a business ID. You don't need to worry about taxes or anything like that. You don't need to be running ads and learning the endless amount of ever evolving strategies for ad content, Facebook hit pixels, algorithms, all of that crazy stuff. You don't need to know. All you need to know is how to follow a blueprint of proven strategy of how to do this to really take it to the next level. And even if you don't want to go into the program, go and check out, like go take some pictures inside of some stores, uh, be creative, use your creative mindset and post stuff on, um, on Marketplace and just see. Because I can guarantee you if you you will make money at doing this. And if you go onto the program, you will make a ton of money. This is, it's not even a matter of if you just apply yourself, you'll make money. It's like you just take some pictures, post it on Marketplace, copy paste some ad print um, that you're provided with. And that's basically it. This is the most straightforward way to making money online. It freaking blows my mind. With that being said, um, for all of you network marketers and stuff, if you're listening to this and you're thinking of scrapping your network marketing business because you're like, this is the new set way, never, ever, ever forget the power of leveraging residual income and res leveraging other people's efforts. This is a way to make a ton of money, yes, but if you have a network marketing business, 
you stick with that as well. You can run both of these no problem and you can intertwine them and cross promote between both of them. You do not want to get caught up in just doing one thing because your network marketing business will is your legacy. This is working now this marketplace thing and this is one of those things where you want to catch the wave while you can because you don't know 10 years down the road this might not be a thing anymore and if you want to leverage this leverage it now leverage it today while it's before christmas like leverage it this has been working for the past uh I, as far as i know 10 years they've been really they've perfected how this works it's not going anywhere anytime soon but you never know with the internet over the next five, 10 years, it could dwindle off and you could have missed this massive, massive wave to make a shit ton of money. So if you guys are interested, um, send me a message back. If you're not totally cool, please though, if you guys go and go and take a picture of something inside of a store and post it on Marketplace, please let me know your results. This is all I ask because I know 100% you could go and easily go take a picture of eight things and you, you'll get a winner. You'll get a winner. So um, that's all I ask of you guys. If you want to know the program and you want to learn how to work with me and really like take your business to the next level, I would freaking love that as well. I love working with bosses. Like I love this. Love this shit. I live and breathe online and I'm a mom, full-time mom and... It blows my mind how little people know about the internet and how many opportunities there are out there. And this is the ultimate opportunity to take anybody that is fearful of the online space and bring them in in a very safe and simple way. And this could even lead to having new leads come into your business as well by being able to teach them simple strategies like this. Someone's willing to invest $2,000 in learning how to do this that once they actually see the money being made, you can easily explain to them how residual works and how leveraging other people's efforts works. And it's all about the psychology, right? It's about the long-term game. Every like, It's not about making a quick buck here and there. This is about learning things that can be leveraged for a lifetime and ways to be, actually build people's confidence up with their money mindset. Like this is a golden, golden opportunity. I'm going to stop talking because I can ramble on for so long. Again, hit me up if you guys are interested. This is a, just a, a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer for me. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and hang out with my kids. See you guys.